This one was entitled Uber Up Screw Ups. Now cross position Shakuris Platu. So Nick mentioned this, but I hadn't seen it until now. They removed the the backdoor rocks. I like that. Shakuris is no longer completely ridiculously impossible to play on this Terran. That's cool. I actually might like Shakuris now. I I've, I haven't played on it because I thumbsed it down back when the backdoor rocks were such a pain in my butt. Uh. Um, but my main my main problem with it is how how big it is. The walk distance from here to here is longer than on typical maps. Anyway, um, you called this this Uber Ups, but it is not. Uh, let's let's talk about the 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 benchmarks, the uh, the things that make an Uber Ups build. First, um, twelve racks, fourteen racks. Did you get a fourteen racks? Yes, you did. That's good. Second, you need a wall in by 3 minutes and 20 seconds in order to stop a 6 pool. Yes, you have that. Third, you need constant SCV production and another command center. This, you supply blocked and you stopped SCV production for a while. My guess is that you're going to be short a little bit on workers. Third is you need to put on some sort of early pressure to make sure that he is not doing a 15 a 15 pool ma uh, maximizing his economy build and that can mean just sending an SCV to scout and noticing that he didn't make an early hatchery and that's totally sufficient so you notice that he didn't go for an early hatchery so you don't need to send those marines that's perfectly fine you did great uh... next is a reasonably early command center you got yours even earlier than i like to get mine it, it was really early i like that next you have to have a bunker that is within six six uh, building. Oh, I pushed B to build, and it didn't. That's not how B works. Uh, you can't do that anyway. You know when you build up, you you tell them to build something like a supply depot, and it brings up this this grid with spaces. Six of those spaces is six range. So you want a bunker that is within six range of right here, and six range of uh like right here. So in this case, you could build a bunker right there, and it'd cover both, and that'd actually be a, a great spot. Uh, the point of that bunker is that if he gets past your your opening, you don't want him to have free range on this stuff. You want a, a wall in here to prevent him. <coughs> All right. Anyway, this outer wall is great, but you gotta assume it's gonna fall. And when it falls, what does he have? If you have a bunker here. He has access to your SCVs, but he can't kill them because there's a bunker in here screwing up the AI. So as long as you never tell the SCVs to attack, the bunker is higher attack priority. So any S uh, Zerglings he puts in here are going to automatically attack the bunker. Um, and he can't run up here because there's a wall in. So that makes your outer, your outer defense. It's expensive for him to knock down, and knocking it down buys him nothing. So I'd like to see another bunker right here. Um, so, uh, ooh, repair. This is this is something I saw in a previous game too. You got to set your SCVs to auto repair. All of your SCVs all the time should be on auto repair. There's just no reason to to not do that. Just control click your SCVs and hit auto repair every once in a while when you got nothing better to do. All right, the next thing on the list, I never checked um, income benchmark, but let's just check the eight minute one. Oops, that's seven fifty. Here's eight minutes. Thirty, perfect. Actually, you did great. I guess this is because you got the the early second command center, and so you made up for the fact that you missed a couple of SCVs early. So that's good. Uh, 44 by 10 minutes is the next benchmark you want to hit. Boom. So you want 1-1 one, one as well as 44 SCVs by 10 minutes. You had 40. That's perfectly good enough. You have 1-1 one, one started. That's good. Good enough. You've had to use two supply drops. Oh no, yeah, two supply drops. That's bad. That that's essentially. Uh, I know that a coic uh, says that a supply drop is like 170 minerals now, whereas a mule is 270 minerals later, and that's kind of true. But it's not ex. Uh, it's it's not an excuse. Don't use it as an excuse to 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 supply drop. You you really just want to stay ahead on supply depots and use mules because it's it's really it's like paying someone 200 bucks because you slipped up. It's like a slap on the wrist, you know? <laughs> so that's 400 bucks that you don't have because you did supply drops. Uh, obviously, if you have to use them, use them. But the fact that you had to use them, you should consider that bad. This rally point is wrong, and you've got a bunch of idle SCVs. If you're paying attention to your idle SCV marker like you always should be, there was no way you would get all the way to 11 before you noticed that you have a bunch of idle SCVs. This is just terrible. So I, I would say 
these 11 idle SCVs are going to play a huge role in this game. <laughs> because your income is a fraction of what it should be. You should have a 2k income and you have 1100. So that's, that's really significant. Um, army spending, you've got 1800 at, at 11 minutes and you, you want to have about 3000 by now. Also, uh, in, or in order to get to 2 quick enough, you need your factory to start before you get halfway through 1-1. One, one. Your factory is a little late. I don't like that. You're making more racks than you need right now, which is, I guess it's fine. Um, you want to have 7 racks by the 15 minute mark, but you don't necessarily need them this early, but it's not, they're not too early. I think that's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Um, I've, I've kind of, I've favored having only two gas in the past because it gives you more minerals and marines are the, are the core of the build. Uh, and especially if you only have um, 46 minus 12 is 32 guys mining, it's really, it's best that you not take four gas. But later on, uh, you're going to need to start 2-2 two, two at the same time as you're getting two starports at the same time as you're, as you're building medevacs and at the same time as you're building reactor cores and you're just not going to have enough uh, gas to do it, I, I predict. Upgrade. But because your armory is so late, maybe it's not going to be a problem. You're not going to start 2-2 two, two on time anyway, so you will have enough gas by the time you actually can start it. So where's your armory? You are starting the four gas. Here's your armory. Get that starport. The starport is really, really crucial. Medivacs, uh, without medivacs, this is just a mass marine build, and mass marine is not a good strategy. It's all about marine medivacs, Tim Combat Shields 2 2. So you really need those medivacs coming. Here, here they come, here they come. You've still got five idle SCVs, but I guess that's better than 11. I really dislike the idle SCVs. Um, you're doing a great job producing enough SCVs, but if they're not mining, then what's the point in having them? Uh, so you got to worry about getting your third as you push out at 15 minutes. So in order to get a third at 15 minutes, it needs to be started by 13. Have you started your third? <laughs> I don't know if you can hear Melissa yelling. Simon, you woke up the baby. Always waking up babies. Simon loves the baby, but he loves the baby like he loves his toys. He wants to play with it. 12 idle SCVs. This whole replay is just kind of skewed. This is There's too many idle SCVs. You never fix this. Even though you saw a bunch of idle SCVs, you didn't wonder why were there a bunch of idle SCVs. You just grabbed them and told them to mine. <laughs> this rally point has been wrong all freaking game. 13 idle SCVs. 13 idle SCVs. This is... I hate when a whole big long game comes down to one simple mistake. And I know it's a crucial and it's an important mistake, but most mistakes are. But this whole game seems to be coming down to this one misrallied thing, and that's not something you're ever going to do again. That's a mistake that you don't often make, and so learning to, hey, I shouldn't misrally my command center, that's not something that you can really take away from this game. So army size, you have a bigger army. Um, he's coming in with Ling Bane Ling. You have a much larger amount of workers. Um, one thing to note is that lings are significantly better than, than marines, especially 1-1 one, one marines with no medevacs, or with 3 medevacs. Um, and especially if your marines are all bunched up near your SCVs like this, I'm really worried about banelings. And he's got almost, he's got 15 banelings coming, so this is, this is, uh, not good. One thing I say a lot is that if you're just leaving your, your guys around, like if, if you're still building your army and you're not uh, planning on attacking anytime soon, you should spread them out because they're just sitting there. Why not have them sitting there in a good position? So the fact that all of your troops are spread out, are, are piled up in, in a little pile is, is kind of bugging me. Also, these guys up here, anytime you're fighting, you want everyone to be fighting. I would like to see some guys up here, a couple of guys 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 here, kind of that.